Before we begin, I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year to make all these special videos, so if you like the content here, please consider subscribing to help fulfill Project 10K. Thank you, now on to the video. Jerry Recycled Batteries is certainly a white whale for many a Cars collector. A notable character from the Cars movie with a couple of voice lines, which are very memorable from one of the most iconic and funny scenes of the movie. Not to mention he's a hauler and haulers are always in high demand. It's no wonder a lot of Cars collectors really want to pick this guy up. And he's only ever been released twice in total in 2009 and 2010. All of these factors come together to make Jerry a pretty rare item these days with it being hard to find him for under a hundred dollars. That's what he tends to go for. I was lucky enough to get him in a lot that my friend the Piston 11 sold me for a hundred dollars total. Of course, a loose copy of Jerry alongside several other very rare cars. And I'm very, very excited to add him to my collection. It still feels unreal that I have Jerry recycled batteries now. Like there, there's no way this is in my hand right this second. It's, it's honestly insane for me to think. It's crazy how many great rare cars I've added to my collection this year thanks to a bunch of good deals and oftentimes generosity from people that I know and my friends like Robin and the Piston 11 who have been so nice to send me some items uh, that they already had that were rare but they found duplicates of and sent over my way. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Jerry Recycled Batteries, the long-awaited first car for me to review from the Piston 11's haul. I'm very excited to review these cars he sent me because they're some of the rarest cars ever made and cars that I'm so stoked to have in my collection. I'm not sure what year this Jerry release is. It's either 2009 or 2010 when I showed the base. I'm sure some of you guys will let me know. Some people who are better at reading date stamps than I am. Where's that date stamp? I don't, I don't, I don't actually see it. Oh well, it's probably on there somewhere. Anyway, Jerry, of course, like all haulers, is fully removable. So we'll take a look at his cab up first. We've got a pretty great expression for him. Pretty accurate to the movie, looking off to the side angrily. You know, we all know a guy that looks like Jerry recycled batteries. Not, not trying to be mean to anybody, but we all, we all have one person that we've seen in our lives who captures this perfectly. <laughs> what I love about his design is just how well they encapsulate the whole trucker style with the uh, the fact that it's a vehicle. Of course, he has the hat like all haulers do, but they gave him stubble. By making his bumper dirty and covered in these dark specks, they make it look like he has stubble, and that just really adds to the whole look that they're going for here. We've got a Peterbilt logo here on the front of the vehicle with, of course, the big joke of Jerry's appearance being the fact that McQueen's asking for Mac and he goes, I'm no Mac, I'm a Peterbilt. <laughs> I really could have added some more enthusiasm uh, to that quote there, I'm sorry. On the hat here, you can see it says recycled batteries with a very sad drawing of a battery. You know, a fun fact is that all of the battery designs on Jerry are actually... Uh, designed by John Lasseter's son. So that's why they look kind of childish. Actually, when I first got this, my mom asked me, wait, what happened? Who drew on the side? And I was like, no, 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 it's okay. A child just designed it. <laughs> A child designed it, and that's why it looks that way. It's supposed to look like that. You've got his rear view mirrors on either side. I just noticed this one is molded to be broken and off center, as you can see, which is just such great attention to detail. Here you can see it's attached to this bar and angled inwards, but this one is just kind of free floating, loose, off on its own. Got the smokestacks there. Surprisingly no mud flaps, but hey, who knows? With uh, with Jerry's line of work, maybe he doesn't care about getting too dirty. His license plate reads 7BL28. Not sure if that's going to reuse with other items. I sure hope it isn't, but who knows? It's 2009 Metallic. Very well could have been. Now, something you may know about haulers is that most of them don't open from the back. Mac was, for years, one of the only haulers to open from the back. This is Cars 2 Mac, for example. And, of course, you could pull out this tray here. There are the little legs that you could stand the item up with. Most other piston cup haulers open up from the side. And for years, I saw the way that Jerry's hauler looked, and I was so excited to get another hauler that opened from the back. But that's when I learned something. 
When I got this item in hand, I was shocked to learn that Jerry doesn't open from the back. He opens like this. Which is just the stupidest thing to me. Like, why was it designed this way? This seems so counterproductive. Was it so hard to just have the door open and have this inside? Like, why was it designed that way? Why were they so against having the haulers open the way they're supposed to open? Now, it also doesn't have legs to help it stand up. One of the only haulers I can think of that doesn't have those stabilizing legs. You either have them folded down, um, like the way Mac does, you know, so that you could have it stand as its own platform. The haulers that open up from the side have two little parts that, uh, that stand up to help stabilize. Jerry has nothing, unfortunately, and you can see how that mechanism works built into his base there, as well as the twist ties that held him in his original packaging. Now, with him being a recycled batteries truck, he, of course, has several batteries stored in there, which are pretty nicely sculpted, very neat and organized. Way to go, Jerry. Good for you, or good for whoever loaded up the back of the truck. If you want, you can fit an item in here. Let's just slip McQueen in here for the strange alternate universe where uh, Jerry becomes Mac. Now, most cars diecast, I'd say, probably won't fit. A lot of them won't. There's really not much space here. You're also working with a length issue because of how large the batteries are. On the live stream I was doing last night, I stuck Mark Stone timer in here as a joke, and it's honestly very difficult to fit even him, um, as you can see. It's very tight because of this part and this part, and the fact that his back is arched is actually the only way he was able to successfully fit in there. If his back weren't arched and it were all this height, he would not fit in. Mark Sondheimer would be too long, which is saying something. It is a longer car than average, but really not by all that much. But still, very nicely detailed interior there with all of the, uh, the little batteries here, and I guess some sort of crate or toolbox, I guess. Now let's close that back up and take a look at the side. Something really clever about Jerry's design is the fact that it mirrors Mac with this big battery face here and an electricity bolt the same way Mac has a giant lightning bolt on the side, which is a really fun touch. There's even a recycling logo in the place where the Rusty's logo would be. It says recycled batteries and recycled batteries again. We have this interesting smoky effect here up top. Something interesting the Piston 11 showed me before he sent me this Jerry is that his Jerry actually doesn't have this whole fading effect, um, but mine does. And we were trying to figure out like what the deal with that was. I, I think it's just everyone being painted slightly differently and mine has this fading design a bit more intense than his does. For the record, in case you're wondering, in case this very specific Jerry and his fading effect on the roof look familiar to you, uh, this is the Jerry Recycled Batteries the Piston 11 used in his now pretty viral McQueen Gets Lost scene remake, which has like well over a million views at this point. I believe it may be sitting at over 2 million views. You've probably seen it at this point. And he said he liked this Jerry's look a little better, but he wanted to keep on to his original Jerry for sentimental reasons, so he, he sent me this one. Because again, he had two and that's how I got it. But he decided to use this Jerry for his remake video, so I have a uh, viral Jerry in my home now. I have a viral Jerry. That sentence is insane out of context. Uh, but yeah, what, what I think is pretty funny is this Jerry Recycled Batteries, uh, you know, has been in one video that's gotten more views than any video I've ever made, so, uh, congratulations, Jerry. He's a bit of a celebrity around here. We've got Recycled Batteries written on the back with another smiley battery face. You can see all of them are different. They were all designed by, by John Lasseter's kid, and that's just a fun Easter egg. We've got the license plate on the back, which of course matches the one on Jerry's cab. Lightning bolt there and all that. Now, uh, even this on the back very closely matches McQueen's, uh, the back of Mac with McQueen at the bottom and the lightning bolt. You could even see that on Cars 2 Mac, which uses a very similar back door design to Cars 1 Mac. Just really clever designs, even for parts that we don't see in the movie. And on this side, we got this very cool looking battery with a nose and a mouth and, and, a, and a double chin and stubble and he's chewing on a piece of wheat. Now this is a little terrifying. We're lucky that we only see this side in the movie because this one looks looks a little too human for the Cars universe. Just throwing that out there. 
you know, I've said I'm not making another Cars Iceberg video, but if I do, you better believe the last entry will be called Noses, and will be all about the fact that this has a nose. Yeah, I, I like that it's a different design on every side, and this is basically just a fun little Easter egg. The whole thing with the different batteries are fun little Easter eggs, and it's fun to see all these different designs uh, be put there. And yeah, the other side is completely different, even with a more professional-looking recycling logo. Finally, there is another look at the base, and now we've talked all there is to say about Jerry Recycled Batteries. Oh yeah, he, uh, <laughs> the space between the cab and the trailer is really funny to me. He could just fully swing around in unnatural ways. Like, look at that. He, he's got a lot more range of motion than most other haulers. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.